being from New York is a whole different layer of responsibility you have as an artist. It's hard going against people that's your age and in your, in your era, but a lot of times I feel like I'm fighting against ghosts. To be a young black man from Brooklyn, I've got to go against Basquiat. It's a bunch of people trying to take this spot. It's a bunch of people that moved out here that's transplants, that's fighting to be in the same position as you are. There's no other place that you want to make it, because if they say if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And I feel like that shit's staying true. If I was in Wisconsin, it'd probably be a lot easier for me to just paint some trees and shit. There we go. I don't find myself creating black art necessarily. I feel like I create artwork that just prominently features black people. I create narratives that you can believe in, that you can relate to. So when people try to like ask me to break down maybe what I do is the portraiture a little cubist, a little like deconstructive, taking different parts of different people's faces and drawing the abstraction on the outside of the face. I really want the subject to kind of stand on its own. I feel like I'm powerful enough at telling those stories that I can just let them kind of live on its own. I don't really need shit to jazz it up. You don't ever see me sign on the front of any of my paintings. When I look into the subject's eyes, I really, I want them to speak to the person. A lot of times I feel like it's a whole bunch of other jazz thrown around black art to make it seem extra black. You know, these stories have to be told in a way that people can receive them, and they can have a, a real deep connection to, to a lot of those stories from people like me in places like where I've grown up. This studio space is called the Mason Studio. We all come from different backgrounds, more of like a family. If I know something, I can teach you. If you know something, you can teach me. It's easier to get a head like that. Two heads better than one. Five heads better than none. Yeah, I mean, it was always a dream of mine uh, to, you know, help put people on. You know, I be, I feel like a lot of times people be caught in their situations. They don't be seeing a way out. Sometimes they be needing people to see a way out for them. How would you describe the relationship with your folks? I mean, my relationship with my family is great. They've always been behind me when it came to this. They bought me my first easel. I would hear stories of my father having like murals in his room of him painting like Nefertiti and stuff like that. And after I just finished graduating and I was really interested in painting and I would paint in the middle of the night because I was like, I didn't really want anybody to see my artwork. I was scared. And I started working on this painting of Bob Marley. I go chill with the homies and shit and my father just gives me a random call. You know, I seen this painting of Bob Marley in the room you did it. I said, like, yeah, I did that. He's like, damn, this shit good. I'm like, oh man, for real? I don't know, this shit just made me so happy because that was maybe like my fourth or fifth painting at the time. That was just a little bit of a stamp to let me know I was doing something right. The come up is real and you know manifesting your dreams is real man and this you know we talk about a lot of things and, and, and you know to actually put them into motion is like you know it's like wow you know the power of words. Ten years ago when I moved out here I I got from being in Soho and being in the Lower East Side. We recently did the collaboration at Adidas right here. The piece came from a show that I had in 2018. It was called Black and Blue. It was about mental health in the black and brown communities. And this piece in particular was called MOB, which is like money over bitches, money over bundles, money over everything type of thing. Uh, and it was about just the peer pressure that you might have. The whole show was black and blue. It was based off like Picasso's blue period. The black and blue of like us being beaten over time. The black and blue saying like, you're so black, you're so blue. I wanted all those kind of like iterations of the term and the words to, to be used to reflect the piece. It was a beautiful thing. I wore Adidas my whole life. And it was great to be able to be recognized by a company like that. Any famous people in New York?
Adrian Brody was the first one that I really got cool with. I met him through my, my mentor, me and him friends to this day. You know what I mean? But he bought one of my pieces super early. Me and Lena Waithe is real cool. She's been a big supporter. These are just two amazing pieces by Malik Roberts. When you have art by black people on your walls, their art can inspire you. She's actually the, the one that connected us with the Rock Nation situation because she was a big proponent of having me do the artwork for the covers. You know, as a kid growing up and seeing Jay-Z and Rockefeller and all that other type of stuff and being a super hip-hop fan and hip-hop head, the chance to work with Rock Nation was amazing. Pope story. I get a call from my mentor, are you ready to go meet the Pope? I'm like, okay, so you're like, yeah, you ready? You get your, you know, get your whole situation packed up, let's go to the Vatican. And the artist friend of mine, Daniel, are you bringing him a gift or anything like that? You gotta bring a gift. I'm like, you know, I never thought about bringing, bringing the Pope no gift. He says, yo, you know what you should do? You should paint like a black Jesus kind of situation. Come on, bro, if you bring a black, a black man on a cross to the Pope? I'm like, all right, bet I got you. The day has come. Uh, I made an intention to wear like an all black suit, have my, my crown kind of wrapped up. I had to make a full statement being in there, you know what I mean? And it was a very small room. The Vatican, if you don't know, is an old ass building. Doesn't have AC. But we sweating, waiting for the Pope to come inside. He comes and he makes his rounds. You know, everybody's like, you know, your holiness and this, that, and the third. I didn't really know what to say, so I say, I appreciate to meet you, brother. And I give him a handshake. And I was like, yo, I brought this for you, bro. You know what I mean? You like it, you see what I mean? Then you see him in the video, you pick it up, you look at it, and give me a little head nod, thumbs up. And the crazy thing, I don't know if the Pope is supposed to tell you this or is this what he does, but when he was walking away, he said, make sure you pray for me. I'm like, what you talking about? You the Pope. You supposed to pray for me. And he's like, nah, man, make sure you pray for me. I was like, yo, I got you. And that's how I met the Pope. And I left there, went and smoked and ate some pasta. <laughs> I would want to be a, probably like an actor. It would be something still in the arts. I can't see myself behind like a desk or anything like that. I'm a little too, too manic for shit like that. But yeah, it'll probably still be somewhere in the arts. Probably like an actor or something like that. Cause I low key, I'm gonna get an Oscar one day. I'm saying that shit. You know what I mean? I'm hollering at people. We gonna put that work in. I cry. I wanna cry. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> Built having this art initiative is beautiful. I try to look into the history of the people they work with and why are they even giving grants and who they're trying to give grants and things like that too. So I believe the Built initiative is great to help fund artists like myself when they have like a real opportunity to do some cool things. What's that one call you're waiting for? The one call I'm waiting for is to be in a museum. I've done like little, maybe like pop-ups. I did one in the Smithsonian. But it was real, real light. But I, my main thing is to have like a major museum show, and it would be fantastic if it was the Brooklyn Museum, the Motor High Museum, so it could kind of be full circle. Thank you for coming to the studio and hanging out with your boy. About it.